All right, this is from uh, Aaron Hartman. He shared uh, Terry uh, Jamin's post, and this is about some uh, hand assembly that they found down in Peru somewhere. Now, I started looking at it, and uh, here's what I wanted to point out to you. You see this here? That they, they say there was a nail in there. Now, what you need to do is find out what kind of a nail that was, where it came from, the, 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 the style of it. I, my, my contention here is that this was uh, this guy was staked up back in um, the um, time of the conquistadors. Now, also look, there's the hole. Now, they had these metal straps, and I looked at that, and I said, what the heck is going on with that? Well, the whole thing is, this is the guy's wrist right here. This is in his hand. This is his wrist. And all of the flesh is eroded back, and I'll show you that. And he's being nailed up by his wrist, just like the way they talk. These are the bones in your wrist, and I'll show you that in a minute. And that's the, the metal um, that's actually staking this tendon, I believe, into the bone. And it's t attaching it to the bone. Because I think this guy was stuck up against uh, the, the, a tree or something for years, maybe. He, it's certainly not a mud fossil. This was uh, exposed and dried out in the air. Now, my contention is is that his fingers don't go back to here. Nowhere near there. They, they're about the same size as this guy's, maybe even smaller. They go back to here. And I'll show you why I say that. Um, let's find the best shot. Hold on. Well, you can see, there's the first, there's the second, there's the third, the big long one. And then you hit the flesh right there. This is exactly what that is right there. So we got the little one, this one here, then you got this one, this one here, then you got the big one that comes back, this one here, till it hits the flesh here, which you can see is eroded there. So that's just the way it is. Now, after that, what do you have? You have these big long tendons, see them? It runs through your hands, all the way up through, way all the way up to the muscles, way up here. It's amazing. I've seen autopsies, and I've sat through a bunch of them that, to watch these things, and they, it's incredible. Anyway, and they are tendinous, and they are made out of, literally made out of limestone, CaCO3. Now, now we get back to here. So we're way up here. That's his wrist right there. That's his wrist right there. All right, and I'll show you that. So, and then we go into his, his, his arm. And the reason it stayed up against the tree for probably years to intimidate the people was because of these metal tags in the tendinous straps that do not erode like the fleshy stuff. All right, I, I do the mud fossils. All these were living creatures at one time, parts of living creatures. And... Uh, this is what I'm talking about. It's a little tip. There's another one. There's this one. Now you get to the flesh of your hand, which, uh, let's see if you can see that. In the, yeah, you can see that. That's where these bone balls are here. You see that? that? Those little balls, see that? That's this ball here. Your flesh ends here. Well, that thing is eroded all the way back up, and then you'll see a couple of little circles in the wrist. And it's just the very, very end of the wrist is left, and then you go into the... Uh, uh, into the actual wrist. It's where the the, the, the um, attachment of the wrist to the to the arm actually. Now it looks to me like they knew what they were doing. If you look at this right here, I believe that's the one they tagged. You see how they sort of come running together here? I believe that one is locked in and I think the other one is over here, but I'm not sure. It's, it, it looks to me like they they were pretty adept at doing what they were doing, and I think it was a source of intimidation. I believe it was probably when they came over to Conquistadors, they tacked people up against the trees, left them there for years, because that thing is not a mud fossil. It did not fossilize in the ground. It is not that old. It fossilized in the air. That's my opinion. Could be wrong.